it's on your quads. Live in the tilt. Less than five. There's a go tilt. It's going to be a speed. Here we go. Yeah, let's go. We're going to match number 13. And now your top qualifiers let me in the Yeah. Yeah, more room to break. And... <laughs> Welcome to Denver, Colorado and the AUVSI Drone Convention, home of Drones in School National Championship. 16 middle school and high school teams from, from across the country have all competed from their local divisions to be here battling it out for the championship title. Hey, it's Tad Dallas here, Executive Director of Drones in School. We're part of the Multi-GP STEM Alliance, the largest drone racing association in the world. These teams are comprised of a project manager, graphic designer, manufacturing engineer, design engineer, marketing coordinator, and drone technician. They will be spending the next two days competing through two different competitions, Capture the flag and traditional head-to-head -head drone racing. We're setting up our marketing board and we're gonna display our marketing video right on this shelf. And so it's gonna show our chip design, uh, the drone, batteries, portfolio, shirts, and hopefully market our team well. We can just show off our marketing um, design and our shirts and everything. We're just getting our beanies just to look customizable on how much work we just put into this project. They have portfolios, they have displays, they've done marketing outlines, 3D printing, they have given their teams a, a guide for who needs to be the pilot, who needs to be the pit crew, all of those outlines, and we are walking around to kind of just survey those and critique them a little bit. We have a judging sheet that we're going to take advantage of later, and the teams are going to get some practice in. They're going to do FPV head-to-head -head racing. They're going to be doing capture the flag racing, line of sight. It's going to be such an exciting day. Getting ready for finals tomorrow. The new format of capture the flag has high school teams up first for qualifying. The objective was to change all the colors, then land back on the landing pad in the shortest time. Several teams were able to get their times below 30 seconds, with the quickest qualifying being 15.88 seconds. Uh, that was something. That was pretty good. I'm not sure if we can get this down. Maybe a little bit. Maybe a few seconds. But we'll keep on trying. I think we have a good strategy down, you know, one person getting the front row and then the other person going around. Uh, it's working really well, we just need a few more chances and I think we'll get in first place. It's back to earlier with the landing, so you just got to stick them, make sure the judge can see them properly and then we're set. We started it our first time around, we went 45 seconds, then we went into this high 20s and now we got down to 17 and a half, but our goal is to get it sub 15 right now. Let's see if it drones in schools. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we're getting close to the championships out here at AUBSI. We've got middle school over here, high school over here. Very intense racing. It's anyone's race right now. So pay attention. Let's see who's going to win. As we put PIC onto the final lap, one to go. Oh, God, and we pass. Issues again for Seward Eagles. Six degree drone racing after the middle there you go, yeah, let's go. And down go the Flying Pythons. We're working on lap number four, the final lap of this race, if he's able to hold off Flying Pythons. They're 8.7 seconds apart, and there is your champion, a Drones in School Middle School Division, six degree drone racing, and Alex DeAndre. It's really fantastic to see just how passionate and, and excited these students are, but also how professional it is. I've been really impressed by the level of manufacturing, ingenuity, and then the skills for racing that I'm really optimistic that this work is going to bring us a whole new class of pilots and engineers in a very short term. If Garrett Becker wins, he's your champion. If Chris Brucey wins, this goes another round. Good luck, pilots. Arm your quads. Live on the tilt. 
less than five. There's a go tone. We are off to the races. Whole shot going to go to BH Jones. Hogflyer is right behind him. This is going to be a huge throwdown right now as we bring them both into that Skybridge section. It is Hogflyers just ahead of BH Jones, 1.1 seconds apart. A little stressful. We came back yesterday. Qualifiers got a little nervous. We were we were down. They had us in the first seed, but we came back. It's still a tight one. 1.6 seconds apart. Hog Flyers ahead of BH Jones. I thought we did really well. We've got great portfolio, great display. I think we think we've got it. You can see BH Jones is getting a little closer, but Hog Flyers still holding them off. 1.7 seconds to the good. So last year it was all seniors. So every senior graduated. So it's a completely new team this year. It's now just half a gate ahead of that Skybridge section, and now it's still a tight one. We meet usually two to three times a week before or after school. And then closer to Nationals, we've been meeting a little bit more often. And then people have been doing stuff over the weekends outside of school and stuff like that. And we're on the final lap. It's a race to our checker gate. And by three tenths of a second pending DVR review, Hog Flyers getting the win. This year we just won 2023 champions for head to head racing as well as capture the flags. We've had a solid team this year. We've put in a lot of work had a crazy drone design. We had a team last year, all seniors graduated, so we've got a completely new team this year. Spent a lot of time in school, after school, before school, everything, putting in as much work as we can. success in life is just not giving up right just keep on working keep on trying say you know what I can do it we want to thank you guys first of all for coming out um, what an am amazing experience uh, this is our second year of really having a national competition right we're a nonprofit uh, we are not making money on this venture our goal is to support our teams and schools and our mission as our nonprofit is we want kids to be able to know how to make things that's what our nonprofit is about. That's what we focus on. The best way we can get information about this program is for you to talk to schools that are in Bayou. Go present. I know Hard Northern has presented at like their state conference for school administrators. Say, hey, we'd like to show you what we do with our drones and school program. Other teams see this. They want to be part of it. We need your help to get the word out. So thank you so much for everything you've done. Awesome job this weekend and have a great trip home.